Today on the channel, we got the ghost with the most with Mondo, one six scale masters of the universe, Scareglow. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! to the channel for another Mondo 1-6 scale He-Man and the Masters of the Universe unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we got a throwback. We got Scareglow. But for all your Mondo needs, shopmondo.com is where you're going to have to go. But for all other things, maybe eBay. But of course, sometimes Big Bad Toy Store. Use the link in the description down below. And Scareglow, an all-time favorite for many He-Man and the Masters Universe collectors over the years, myself included. Always enjoy a good Scareglow figure. And this one came out quite a few years ago. Now, they do have a newer one coming out 2025, I would assume, at this point. We're also going to get his steed, a first time in the line He-Man figure, Masters Universe figure, in the Mondo line for the first time that eventually could go to like Origins and some of these other toy lines in the future. So that is pretty cool to look forward to. We saw that not too long ago from Mondo. So more on that in the future. But now we're about the past. We're about Scare Glow here, this old school edition. And I guess we'll do the packaging first. And of course, that's how we usually do it on the channel, I would say. But we do get this packaging slipcase cover. We're used to that over the years. We've got this with a few Mondo things. Seemingly do not get this anymore, but it was in the past. We used to get this. We did get it with this one right here. A gentle off to the side. See you later. Of course, we always save the packaging on this. And of course, like I said, we're going to do this review like we do all the other reviews on the channel. We're going to take a look at the packaging. We're going to talk about it. We're going to unbox it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to see where it goes from there. So without further ado, here's old Scareglow looking only like a Scareglow could look if he was glowing with that green hue, of course, as we do know. Masters of the Universe, Mondo, seal of approval right there. He is the evil ghost of Skeletor. One six collectible scale figurine. Same thing on this side as well. Green Masters of the Universe logo at the top. And then on the back, we do get a little artwork action there of Scareglow doing his thing once again. And then the power of magnets compel us once again. You know me, I'm all in on a good magnet. Just call me Magneto, I guess, at the end of the day. Do get a little bit of a blurb in there, get a little seal of approval, and then we do get the figure back there in the package. Let's see what it says about our old friend, that spooky ghost, Scareglow. In life, Noel was a shifty bounty hunter. I knew I liked this guy who spent years attempting to break into Castle Grayskull. In death, he was cursed and banished into the dimension of Infinitia, forever chained to his past crimes. He was brought back to Eternia by a magical spell cast by Skeletor to locate the most evil warriors in the five dimensions. Provided with a scythe of doom, Noel agreed to join forces with Skeletor and quickly became known as Scareglow. Oh my gosh, what an origin story. What an origin story. Uh, everybody likes a ghost, especially a thief bounty hunter ghost, I guess. Uh, we're going to get old Scareglow out of the package here. We're going to truly find out what all the fuss is all about. And let me tell you, there's always fuss anytime you get a skeleton and anytime you get a ghost. Off to the side, gentle. See you later. And we got the plastic prison right there. Looking good. And ooh, look at that soft goods cape. But I'm going to take this offline. I'm going to get Scareglow out of the package. We'll be back talking all things 1-6 Mondo Scareglow. All right, got Scareglow out of the package. Let's begin. Let's take a look at the accessories. And we usually start with these Mondo display stands. And unfortunately, first thing out of the package, not working so hot for me, as for whatever reason, I cannot get this connected into the base. So there's something, an issue with this plastic. It looks a little bit warped right here. I don't know if I can heat this up to get it in here. But pretty disappointed, can't get the stand going. You know me, I love a good stand. I buy these figures for the stand, not the figure. But uh, unfortunately, I've done this a million times. So I know what I'm doing. It's just not working. So the plastic, a little bit off on the stand. So a bad start to old Scareglow, unfortunately. But business picks up a little bit here with a cape. Because cape season... Picks up even the downest of days. Just ask Lando Calrissian. Old Billy D bringing cape season around the clock. And we do get a nice purple cape here for Scareglow. Nice wired cape as well. You know me, I'm a sucker for a wired cape. Beautiful wiring in here and even around the collar. Power moves like Todd McFarlane from the couch. 
with the wired cape and collar. Looking very cool, very nice, soft fabric. We're here for this. Cape season carries on another day. There it is. So beautiful cape with this one here. Getting down to some hands. We got two Scaregull Fists of Fury right out of the package. He's ready to throw skeleton punches in bunches if he needs to. But we do get the kind of crazy hands here, the splayed out hands, the you know spooky skeleton hands. We do get those right here looking very good. And then we do get two gripping hands for his staff, for his swords, whatever you want him to hold. We do get that as well. So we got those hands. Got to have those. Then we get down to some bone swords here. We got bones stuck in there. Uh, swords that look like they've seen some battle. They got dings and dents in them. But he's got two swords here made out of partially made out of bone. Pretty cool here. But two swords here for Scareglow. He's ready to throw down with anybody that gets in his way, of course. Then we get this. They talked about him storming the castle, trying to get into Castle Grayskull. And it looks like he's got the key. Not the key to Brody King's heart this time. It's the key to Grayskull. Skull, it looks like here and you get this little thing and it's got a little uh, collar shackle cuff whatever you want to call it you put this over his hand he's got this with him he's got gray skull captured uh, whatever you want to say and then he's got the key to it as well so an interesting accessory for old scare glow there and then finally you do get his big old staff i guess a scythe scythe is what they said it was and i guess he's got a little of that going on here now we've seen this with his toys over the year from mattel of course Big blade on the front there, looking very nice. Of course, glow-in-the-dark, which brings us over to this. It is a glow-in-the-dark figure, so you know me. I love translucent plastic. I love glow-in-the-dark stuff. Love this that it's glow-in-the-dark. Looking big, bad, nationwide. Like a young Frank Beard. Yes, Frank Beard this time. How about that? But glow-in-the-dark here is Scare Glow. You know me. I love glow-in-the-dark stuff. Very, very cool. Now, this is going to look really cool with the cape on and everything just sitting there on your table, your desk, your display shelf, whatever it may be. But you add that glow-in-the-dark element. Now, I'm thinking about putting this in my living room, right in the formal living room, right in the front of everything. And when the lights go off at night, man, he's going to be glowing up a storm. It's going to be amazing. But love, love, love a skeleton here. Skeleton in the head all day long. Got those skeleton teeth. You got those red evil eyes going on. And he's got a little crack there. He's got some crack through his head. Never good when you got cracks through your uh, skull. It's just a bad day at the office, I'm sure. But uh, he does got, got that going on. Unfortunately, no movable jaw on him. I am sure the re-release or the new scare glow that we're going to get probably in 2025... Pretty sure he'll have a movable jaw on him, I would have to imagine. You do get a little of that black paint over the color there to kind of bring home the skeleton aspect. And then you got that kind of yellowish plastic throughout on here, the glow-in-the-dark plastic throughout. He does got an attorney of loincloth on him. Once again, it is just plastic here. It is not real fur. Now, nowadays, Mondo, when they're doing these things, it's real fur. Have to imagine, once again, for the new one that comes out probably in 2025, We'll have some real fur on that one there. Very Skeletor-like down here, of course. Big Terry Steinbach fan as well. He's got those shin guards going on. And then you got very Skeletor-like feet down here as well in purple. Looking pretty good, all things considered. Talked about the two Fists of Fury on this one. Of course, hands going to be removable. Especially these earlier Mondo releases, you got to be extra careful. Uh, they're not like a Hasbro figure or a Mattel figure you can really uh, throw around and stuff. you got to be careful removing the hands. I've had older Mondo figures break at the hands. It's one of the worst experiences of life. Good thing the cameras aren't on when I do that <laughs> because it's, it's really a downer. These are expensive figures, as we do know. Uh, but they are removable. Doesn't hurt to heat these up a little bit. That's a, a warning out there. Fair tip. But of course, we do get the arms that go around for us. Side to side of the elbow. Single jointed elbow. Hands back and forth, side to side. Head back and forth, side to side, up and down. Head removable so you can put the cape on if you want to. Do you get a little bit of hula hoop at the top? Really nothing going on there. A little bit of traditional waist going on. Big old scare go splits. That's a good splits for a skeleton if you ask me. Leg does go up a little bit. They never go up super, super high. Of course, double jointed knees, very tight. I don't know if I want to risk my life on this one here, but you do get double jointed knees. You just got to maybe heat it up a little bit there. You do get a boot cut action. Ankles back and forth, side to side. Of course, no hole in the feet on him here. It does uh, nothing going on down there of any kind of excitement there, but it is scare glow though for sure. Really, really like this one. Glad I got an opportunity to get this at uh, a more traditional retail price instead of the crazy aftermarket price for this one. As he is a pricey one, have to imagine his price might come down some once that inevitable re-release does come out. And I keep saying re-release, it'll probably be 100% new uh, mold for that one. That makes sense. There's been enough years. You got to get the most out of your molds. And there is another edition of this exact one uh, if you're looking for that one too. If you need two Scare Glows and soon to be three, 
in your collection. But pretty plain Jane as it sits right here. A lot of the fun is in the glow in the dark, of course. But once you add some of the swords, uh, some of the uh, capes, things like that to it, really builds this guy out, really takes him to the next level. And Scare Glow, one that really wasn't nostalgic in my childhood, has become very nostalgic years on. Start with the Classics line, really, is where I became aware of Scare Glow and his popularity. And uh, I've liked him ever since from every single toy line we've got him in, be it from Masters Universe, Revolution, Revelation, New Eternias. We got him in that style. We got him in the Classics, of course. We got him in Origins. We've got him in Mondo, and we're going to get another one, once again, from Mondo. And a little comparison here. I brought out a good, interesting one as well. Disco Skeletor. Oh, my gosh. Who's ready to party? We got Disco Skeletor. We got uh, Scareglow ready to go. It's a skeleton party. Somebody uh, get the trick-or-treat bags. It feels like it's Halloween. But very cool, these Mondo figures, as you guys do know. I'm a sucker for the Masters Universe, a sucker for the Mondo Masters Universe. And Scareglow playing a lot of hits here for me at this very table. But is it playing hits for you? What are your thoughts? You picking up this scare glow? You playing that long game? You playing that pass game? Uh, are you playing the hey too late game? I guess that is. I mean, this is an older figure, many years old at this point. It's probably looking forward to the new one to be released down the line. But let me know your thoughts on this scare glow in the comments down below. And of course, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the old notification bell as we got videos every single day. And then some. We've got even more content for you, of course, over on Patreon. Patreon, the best way to support this YouTube channel. Appreciate all the support over there. Check out Kyle Peterson on ProWrestlingTees.com. Check out my book on Amazon and Barnes & Noble, The Complete Guide to the Jax Class Superstar Series. And don't forget to subscribe and follow along over there on Twitter, a.k.a. The X, Sir Paul 64 the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So for Mondo 1-6 Scale Scare Glow, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.